Hello, this is Jay Brooks Pro, and today I'm reviewing the Lego Ninjago set 71708, The Gamer's Market. This set has 218 pieces and is currently $50 in where I live. Now we're going to have a look at the main build, this one. So get all the figures all the other buildings and the kitana away so we can look at just this building this one is probably my least favorite out of the three just because i don't know it's a bit plain it doesn't have any real cool stuff in it it does have this cool sticker but it's a sticker so it's hard to, to put on because it's this big thing on this big tile and then it has the nice details I like it how it's sort of for the bad guys like it's red and orange the same color scheme as the villains and yeah so you can get the kitana and put that in there is the idea but obviously that is a tile so it would just fall off pretty easily. Now we'll look at this uh, little structure, which is like a little shop for hats. So you can put the pig Zane just in there. And it says he's 125 coins. That nice sticker. Then it has this moving hat thing with a knight's helmet, a top hat, a space helmet in blue, and a little French hat, I guess. And it has this like, sort of Chinese hat and this cowboy hat. And you can see that sticker. I have no idea what that says, so if someone could tell me in the comments, that'd be good. Then that sticker is item market. And yeah, that's basically it for this structure and then my favorite out of the structures the three is this little shop that's a weapon shop and you can put like um say we'll put this figure just behind the counter if we can move his arm all right there and you can put someone there serving your customer and then it has this sticker, you can see the sword, these two pieces, this little dagger, dagger there, little drink, this really cool shuriken piece, uh, and also some swords at the back that are held in these little technic pieces. And that's it for this structure. And then we'll go for the Kitana, which is the pink Kitana, and it is probably my favourite out of all three, even though I don't have the green one, but I still like this one. So you can take that out of the little circle, and there it is. So you can get someone holding that, which is pretty cool. And that sticker. And yeah, now we'll go to the nine minifigs, the main thing of this set. So first off, this is Okino. He is a new character in the TV show, if you've seen it. And he sort of helps the ninja on their quest to stop Unigami. So it comes with a pretty cool sword. I like how it's not just one of these main swords. And he has the same hair as Unigami. This, I think it's new, I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool. But he has this old face from, I think it came out for the Ninjago movie. It's the shark people. So you can have him really angry. Like that. 
And he also comes with, I think this is new as well, this cool bag piece, which you can put around him, which is pretty cool. And then he has his costume, which is his. There we go. In normal black legs. So this is the first exclusive figure for this set. Then we have the only ninja in his ninja uniform, which is Jay. And he is the main character in the season. And I think, I do like these suits, how they all have these cool new back pieces that hold the swords, the life count, which is three for all of them, all the ninja. And he has this cool chain piece in that transparent lime green with the gaming controller to hold it and a little spear at the end and then there we go he is pretty cool and he has this new the ninja have this new mask piece which is also pretty cool that has a little letter in the top and then this face print and then you can have him smiling, cheeky little smile, like that. And then you can take this whole back piece off so we can look at the back of him. If it will, yeah, there we go. So you can see it's silvery. And then this back piece, which is new as well, holds the sword. And then the live count. Then we have, we'll go the other exclusive figure to this set. Oh no, no, sorry. This guy's not, he's not exclusive. He's just pretty cool though. Anyway, this is Scott. He is also like Kino. He helps the ninja in the show. Here's this weapon, which is not the daggy suit at the end of Jay's weapon. And then he's pretty dark as he had this pretty cool clip, like cap and hood piece. Take that off and then you can see his face. And he all he also has an alternate face. There we go. And that's his print, which is pretty cool. Leg prints. And then his back print. Next we have an exclusive Cole. He has these two pick axes, I guess. And then he has a pretty cool moustache and his hair that first came in Jago movie. If you get that to focus. There we go. So he has this red, this polo shirt, and then he also has two faces, um, and then everyone who, I believe everyone in this set who has a Lego head has an alternate face, which is a bonus, but you're paying for the minifigs for this set, so it, I guess it makes sense. Then we have another exclusive, which is Nia, with her hairpiece, which I do not have, so that's pretty good to get for this set. And then it's a good mold. And then she has another face. And I think this is new in this color, the grey water mask. Maybe I'm wrong, it might be in Lego City, I'm not sure, but. Let me know. And this. I don't I think that might be in Lego City. I'm not too sure. I don't know if this is all new. But it's, it's exclusive to this set, so. And she also comes with this harpoon. And then we have another exclusive, which is Harumi. And this is Probably one of my favourite 
figures in this set. You can probably guess my favourite, but because it's coming. But anyway, so then you can take. Oh, I find it hard to get these hair pieces off the heads because they're so long and they attach to the. And that's her alternate face. There we go. And then you can take that off, and then she has some printing. Good printing. And some black back printing. Next, we have Richie. He is. Camera moves there. I think he's a, a whack rat or something they call. Anyway, he has this pretty cool weapon piece with that controller, and then this pretty cool head mold. He also comes in the Kai's Mech Jet set as well. Then we go. He has that back piece in black and then some orange sword. This torso. And then second last, we have a red visor, which is like sort of the aim agents for the season. Or the outriders. The collectible minifigs you collect to build an army. But you could also get the whack rats or whatever they're called. Anyway, so then he has this, um, I think it was, it's a Jurassic World gun, but I don't know if it was first in Jurassic World. But they use this grey piece for the Jurassic World guns. And they have a green poison dart on it. But this one has a red to shoot or aim. And then he's pretty cool. I like how he's not like playing like the AIM agents or the Outriders, he's a bit different. He has his life count, which is four. And then he has this face. And then this really creepy face. And then you can take all this off. And then see his back. So he must be 404. Maybe the robot 404, I'm not too sure. Then the last figure, which is um, my favourite and lots of people's favourite, because fans of the show, it's Pink Zane. Now this is a reference to season one, where when Lloyd was bad, he mixed Zane's clothes with, Kai, with Kai's clothes. So Zane's white and Kai's red. And Zane's gi ended up white i mean pink oh you can put a sword in there can you oh you can i just noticed that and then he has these nunchucks and the traditional gi from season one and this alternate face and the head is not from season one the one they used for the Ninjago movie, I believe. Okay, there we go. Now, for the f final verdict for the set and the overall rating. So overall, I think this is a great set. It has all decent um, structures, but I think because of the great minifigs it evens out the bad structures i mean this one's good this one isn't bad this one's meh but i think yeah it's, it's great i mean what one two three four five exclusive figures and then they have you have the other four not exclusive figures that are pretty cool anyway and then it also comes with a kitana so I think this is a very pretty good set, 
but maybe the price is a bit high. I mean, maybe it could be 35, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's what I think. So let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content from me. And thanks for watching. See ya.